uh, Leipzig is a good side and uh, German teams have always produced a uh, masterclass when it comes to the Champions League. Yeah. And um, for this one, uh, just as you said, Champions League is for the big guns. Yeah. And uh, many people will expect Man City to win this one and come back home with a result. But then again, in the Tough. Champions League, it's never like that. Yeah. It's never like that. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the Liquid Sports Show. Mm. And this is the Champions League week. We have uh, like four matches play being played uh, during the midweek. Yes. And uh, around um, two top matches coming up. Real with Real Madrid taking on Liverpool and also Manchester City up against Leipzig. Mm -hmm. What's your take on these matches? Let's start with the Real Madrid tra traveling to Anfield to yep. face Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, Real Madrid is one of the biggest clubs in the UEFA Champions League. Of course, they have the most UEFA uh, titles and uh, Liverpool as well. Uh, English royalty, they have uh, like six titles to their name in the Champions League. So we are looking at two great teams matching up in a round of 16 a mouth-watering round of 16 and um, I think uh, Madrid traveling to Anfield uh, is gonna be it is a huge, it is match. Huge. Yeah. yeah so we saw uh, maybe to check a little bit of the team news who is playing who will not be maybe featuring mm -hmm. there are reports that Tony Cruz uh, Tony John Cruz. Men and Karim Benzema they yep. didn't feature over the weekend yes and also there are reports that uh, Tony Cruz is out. Tony Cruz probably out of this he, he, he wasn't spotted with the team. With the uh, team traveling, the traveling team to, to England. England. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we expect uh, Rodrigo and Dan mm. Ceballos, the, those guys are available. Yeah. For Liverpool, I think that Darwin Nunes is yeah. uh, doubtful after doubtful. coming off against uh, um, in their recent uh, win. Newcastle. Newcastle against United. Newcastle. Luis Diaz and uh, Arthur, I don't know if they could be fit uh, mm -hmm. to feature. Yeah, but the good news for Liverpool is uh, Van Dijk is back he played almost every minute for against Newcastle yeah and um, that's a, a huge boost for Liverpool you know he's a, a great he's defender. a key player at yeah, the back. very key player at the back mm -hmm. so when you look at this match mm -hmm. uh, Liverpool seem to be now getting back on ground yeah doing good job yeah actually and you see now I saw a fan complaining like now they're facing <laughs> Manchester United <laughs> yeah, be ten, yeah. I think uh, United have, have no Premier League until they face Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, sure. So you could, uh, United could face a team which is full of energy. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, now when you look at this match, mm. um, like you said, I expect goals Gallo. Yep. These are two teams with a big history, uh -huh. uh, teams which have really played in the Champions League final. Yes. We remember what happened with uh, Mo Salah and, yeah. uh, and Sergio Ramos. And Sergio Ramos. And Carriers. Yeah, so it has been really crazy. So tell yeah. me your prediction. Um, I think this game will be won uh, in the midfield again. Yeah. Looking at uh, Liverpool's uh, midfield, um, they have Fabinho who's uh, right now doing well, and uh, they also have uh, Henderson. Yeah. Um, and these are two key players for Liverpool. But looking on the other side, Real Madrid have, uh, of course, they'll miss Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz but is out. Yeah, but, but they still have uh, Kamavinga. They have Valverde. They have Modric. Modric, yeah. Three key players who have been very key for Real Madrid. And uh, I think I'm going to go for um, a 1-1 one -one draw in this one because I just uh, you just see uh, compare Madrid's uh, uh, form yeah. even in the league they are not doing so well uh, and I think Anfield is going to be very tough for them Anfield has always been wild you know when it comes to these kinds of games yeah. so I see a 1-1 one -one draw and then maybe Real Madrid can take that 1-1 one -one result Back, back at home, home yeah. so that maybe Santiago. they can kill it yeah how about so, you i think it'll be interesting match i want to mm. see two key players playing yeah uh two pc players up against each other mm -hmm. i'm talking about uh 
uh, Liverpool's right back mm-hmm. Arnold. Arnold and is expected to be up against uh, Vinicius, Vinicius <laughs> Jr. So pace pace then we have uh, Karim Benzema mm-hmm. what doesn't care whoever is uh, defending uh, defending yeah. he'll do his thing he'll yeah. just score. Yeah. So I think it's a tough match. Mm. Uh I, I will expect more goals. Yep. Uh, but I don't see any team winning mm-hmm. so I'll go for a 2-2 draw actually. <laughs> um, I'll go Are for you copying me? Uh, you know these days you are used to copying. No, I'm not pictures. copying you. I'm not copying you. <laughs> you, 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 you gave a loss. You gave us no loss. You gave Man City win. So I understand. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, but you know, uh, I'm putting on this jersey because I want this team to get a result. That uh, a result and that Anfield a draw will be a good result for Real Madrid. As they so. wait for. Yeah, return yeah you know UEFA is always like that. You can kill it in the first leg, but you can always also play to uh, safety and then yeah. take that um, result home. So, yeah. Moving quick to on Wednesday, mm-hmm. I just want to focus on the two key matches uh, mm-hmm. being played this midweek. Mm-hmm. And we have Manchester City coming up against Leipzig. We remember Manchester City had the chance to return to the top of the table mm-hmm. over the weekend yeah. against uh, Nottingham Forest. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, mm-hmm. uh, they wasted lots of chances yeah. and it counted as Chris Wood. Yes. I leveled the scores for, for the host and mm-hmm. um, City dropped points, yeah. giving us no chance to go two points clear, mm-hmm. despite winning uh, in the midweek. Yeah. So it, is, it was a game of intensity, mm-hmm. but now there's another good game. Yeah. Leipzig got back actually to winning ways over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, they won 3-0 uh, against Wolfsburg. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think uh, it will be a tough test for City. Yeah. City have not been doing so well in the Champions League. Yes. Despite being big boys, I think uh, Champions League is for bigger boys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, I think Leipzig is a good side, and uh, German teams have always produced a masterclass when it comes to the Champions League. Yeah. And um, for this one, uh, just as you said, Champions League is for the big guns, yeah. and uh, many people will expect Man City to win this one and come back home with a result. But then again, in Tough. the Champions League, it's never like that. Yeah. It's never like that. So. Uh, if Nana, you are watching, I know you are a diehard Man City fan. This one is going to be tough, and I think um, Manchester City may come maybe home with a draw, yeah. but they they're not going to win this match. Maybe at uh, I remember he talks to Suave Links yeah. over the weekend mm-hmm. uh, when his team dropped points, and he was just I remember when he, he like City beat Arsenal, mm-hmm. he was always there like trying to <laughs> post memes, 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 but he got <laughs> lost over the weekend on thing. But you, 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 so you, you mean of links the only man city yeah. fan in uh, kiambu county kiambu county <laughs> <laughs> okay cool so uh when we take a look at uh, the team news hmm. city only have john stone so yep. we got out for yeah. that match i think the rest of the squad is fully fit mm-hmm. but there is huge concern for um, for blitzish they mm-hmm. have uh, three good players yeah. uh, key players who are out we mm-hmm. have uh, danny olmo and mm-hmm. diallo and diallo. peter Peter, uh, Peter Gulasi. Gulasi. So those are two, those are three good players, mm-hmm. especially for uh, Olmo is one key player for them. Mm. But then again, if you remember, I think uh, Leipzig have lost only two games at home. Yeah, this, this season. season. All competitions. All competitions. You see, mm. so the atmosphere there we expect it to be really. Tough, tough one for Man City. Man City. Yeah. We and expect, the, of course, Timo Vanna, uh, probably Timo Vanna to lead the attack mm-hmm. or the, the other guy, the other forward, Silva. Mm-hmm. And for, then we also have Nkunku. Yeah, Nkunku is there. Mm-hmm. So it's it, it's interesting match to play. Yeah. And for Manchester City, obviously, uh, Haaland is Haaland. to lead the attack with, uh, I don't know, Pep Guardiola will approach this game with back three or mm-hmm. uh back four mm-hmm. because i saw it was it kind of troubled him against Arsenal. yeah uh playing back three against Arsenal. yeah but f- i think for me um just put the lineup aside you know Guardiola is unpredictable in yeah, terms of lineups yeah. he, you we will predict here and then he will come up with his own um plan but what i want to see is um there, there is a matchup that i'm very excited about i don't know about which one which one there is this young croatian defender mm-hmm. His name is Josko Vadiol. Vadiol. I want to see him defend against Haaland. As in, I'm so excited. I want to see. I want to know. I want to know if he's able. You know, I, I saw his um, the statement and he said he wants to play in the Premier League. Yeah. But 
just he needs maybe some time he, there's a step he's taking before yeah. he comes back to the, the before he comes to the premier league to be able to play in the premier league yeah. so i want to know if he's been if he will be able to handle haland in this one so i'm very excited i'm behind him you know to be honest mm. haland is a bully uh-huh we saw we've seen him uh, against uh, many defenders mm-hmm. he will bully you he yeah. will push you he yeah. will drag you down mm-hmm. he will kick you mm-hmm. he will do anything he will do anything so if 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 what you, if you want to mark Haaland ensure Haaland is not like last time i said this uh you know over the weekend mm-hmm. during our preview for the premier league mm-hmm. and i said if given Haaland and rashford right now you take rashford i'll pick rashford of course and you saw why anyone would you, you understand At the moment yeah Rashford uh, will step uh, back and uh, come with the ball mm-hmm. but uh, for 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 Haaland mm-hmm. when you mark uh, the likes of Bernardo Silva mm-hmm. and uh, then you mark you also mark KDB yeah. somehow you killed Haaland yeah. he's not that type of a player yeah. will come and do magic like Messi type or Mbappe type mm. you understand his strength lies in the box yes. where you bring him across he will yeah. do the acrobatics yeah he do sure any finish quick touch and uh, you just yeah. score sure so i think uh, the midfield of course will be controlled once again by Rodri mm-hmm. uh, one amazing player yeah but now the question is mm. what could be the outcome of this match mm. Leipzig versus Manchester City. Uh, in 2021, these two teams met also in the Champions League. Mm-hmm. City actually were trailing three yeah. goals, mm-hmm. but they came from behind and uh, they won the match. They won the match. Six three. Yeah, I remember. Uh, the reverse fixture, which was played in Germany, mm-hmm. uh, we saw um, Leipzig winning. Winning, yeah. They, they won beat the game. City two one. Two one. So uh, Leipzig knows when you go to when you go to. And I mean, Germany. Eddie had mm-hmm. to be oh, yeah. tough, be tough for them on the reverse the fixture. Had, yeah. So they need to frustrate Man City over right there. Yeah. You frustrate them at, at your own tough, mm-hmm. then when you go away, mm-hmm. you make it more tough for mm-hmm. them. So I think uh, I could give uh, Leipzig strange like one nil win. One nil win. One nil win against, mm-hmm. against City. Mm-hmm. Or if it goes worse for, for Leipzig, they mm-hmm. could even settle for a goal less draw. Okay, I think I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, 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 draw. Again, because I think last time you picked draws and you're like, mm, you <laughs> so many draws. I think, what was the outcome of Tottenham? Uh, Tottenham, Tottenham were beaten by uh, beaten uh, one nil. Ah, yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea beaten also one, beaten nil. one nil. But United drew to two yeah, the, two, two, uh, Barcelona. You had said I'd two, nil. two nil, right? yeah. yeah. Anyway, we will come to the predictions for those games next week because those matches are gonna be replayed. Yeah. at some point yeah. and uh, we'll be so much excited to review what we had so for today i think one one for me and uh, Haaland to score and um nkunku. nkunku nkunku to have a good game as well i'm a fan of timo vana mm-hmm. i'll be excited if i see ivana on the score sheet yeah on thursday europa mm-hmm. league manchester united return to action mm-hmm. a team which is cooking something a team yeah. which is boiling a team which is doing wonders yeah but again, somehow I wasn't impressed with their start against Leicester City. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, they got the job done. Yeah, yeah. But now the question is against a clinical team, how mm-hmm. will you do it? Especially against the also inform the greatest, one of the greatest strikers we've seen, Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Yeah. Actually, uh, he scored uh, during the weekend as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah against uh, now, Cardiz. Now, United always starting uh, Vegas. I don't understand why. <laughs> I saw a friend of mine. I'll tell you why. Called Bluma. I'll Yvonne, tell you why. <laughs> She was saying yeah. everyone wants everyone wants uh, Vegas to score mm-hmm. apart from himself. Apart from himself. <laughs> apart from himself. True story. <laughs> She's. If she if she analyzes football in that manner, I yeah. think she knows football. She knows football. We want every Man United fan wants Vegas to score. Unfortunately for him, yeah. he's getting these chances and he's not putting the chances at the back of the net. But then again, you asked why he is so, able to start or uh, always, in these starting, matches. always always starting. starting. I think firing blanks. Um, the after uh, Martial was injured, there is some kind of imbalance in the team, yeah. and uh, him being a target man in the team uh, is able to help Manchester United right now. And the fact that. Sometimes he even drifts back to the midfield yeah. and plays as a 10, yeah. helps the team. And then I think he's very much hardworking. And so somehow he reminds me of Olivia Giroud. Olivia Giroud. He has that kind of quality yes, of Olivia Giroud. Actually, he has only, that touch. Only that Olivia Giroud 
in terms of finish. Better finisher. Yeah, than him. <laughs> Maybe you can adjust, but many people are saying yeah. he should just finish up on about uh, on his like yeah. uh, loan contract mm-hmm. and, and leave. He, but I don't think good. so. His energy. Uh, when we don't have the ball, is quite much more compared to uh, Martial and maybe other strikers that we would have had. Yeah. So I think for um, Ten Hag, he's very important to the team. Yeah. So this is a match that is going to be very interesting again. Interesting we match. saw in the first leg, uh, Rashford with a magnificent... Watch this match. Yeah. No matter who wins, I just want to watch. Like, we, 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 we could see real football yeah something which we had missed for, for some time for some time Seeing if barcelona are meeting united like yeah. two seasons ago it mm-hmm. would be boring would be very but right now it's interesting it's and very interesting Ten Hag has given united fans the hope mm-hmm. they can go for this yeah now mm-hmm. uh, i expect uh probably to check uh, the team news who is in who is out mm-hmm. uh, for barcelona they'll miss gavi who is suspended yep. on yellow card accumulation yeah pedri Pedro is also out, out after Injured. picking out a uh, armstring. Mm-hmm. Armstring basically understand is three to four weeks. Yeah. Uh, then we have also the regular customer mm-hmm. uh, to hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Osman Dembele is also out for Manchester United. Ari mm. Maguire, mm. my captain, leader, living legend, mm. uh, is also out uh, mm. like doubtful together with Anthony and Anthony Masia. Anthony Masia. We expect uh, obviously long term injuries to uh, Christian, uh, I mean, uh, Ericsson. Ericsson and, yeah. uh, um, and uh, Van der Beek. Van der Beek. They're also out. Also out. Yeah, so I think uh, that's how the shape looks like mm-hmm. for now. Yeah. So we expect some interesting, interesting yeah, football. Sure. With now uh, Rashford tasked against Kunde. And another good news for Manchester United: the butcher is back in the lineup, which is a boost because he missed the first leg. Yeah. Uh, okay. Of course, the butcher is Lisandro Martinez. Yeah. Uh, maybe if you don't know. Uh, wow. I think this is going to be. Man, I, I saw Martinez doing good job against. Uh, he, he, he's in, the one who he, he headed uh, off the post. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he like, almost okay, gone. Is that short Jude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he, they call him Pitbull. He's, yeah. This young man is um, yeah. he's very aggressive. Then again, the game, another guy to watch, uh, David De Gea. David De Gea. David. There was a time Manchester United fans really didn't like De Gea. Mm-hmm. If you lived in that, those moments. Yeah. You remember? I remember very yes, well. Yes, they didn't like De Gea. Mm-hmm. De Gea to a point like he felt now, you, I need to leave this club. He went to Real Madrid. But unfortunately, mm-hmm. the, the deal collapsed. So I think you send uh, mail cards instead of uh, contracts. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> yeah. So uh, leave alone that time where the fax machine uh, brought problems. There is this time just at the beginning of this season. The first two games, horrible mistakes from David De Gea. It happens. Like, it, I think he didn't understand pretty well the, um, the Ten Hag ball and how he's supposed to maybe to uh, give these passes from the keeper and stuff. Yeah. Um, among fans who thought De Gea might leave or will not fully understand what Ten Hag wants. But then again, things turn around, man. He has turned around. He's making quite good saves for manchester united he's saving them even during the weekend fantastic yeah. one-on-one saves the header the from, header from um uh, yeah. i mean so impressive yeah even so it yeah. was really really tough mm-hmm. now it is uh, i think um i want to watch two interesting players here mm-hmm. varen up against Lewandowski, Lewandowski probably yeah because i'm sure he'll be tasked to to man mark Lewandowski yeah, yeah. rather than Martinez up against Martinez, you understand yeah, yeah. rather than Martinez against mm, Lewandowski. it's gonna be a good matchup these two players uh, have experience in the at the Europe stage uh, we've seen them go head to head when Bayern uh, was playing uh, Real Madrid yeah uh, now uh, unfortunately for them they are now in the in the Europa League yeah. and now they are coming against each other but they're still quality players and it will be interesting to see again because I remember in the first leg uh, there was a time they scored the second goal yeah. so it's gonna be very interesting to see and um, I think Lewandowski might get on the score sheet on this one as well uh, I don't think Varane may defend very well against him of yeah. course but at the end of the day he might score at least one but then again I think uh, are we getting to the place where we are saying our predictions yeah I want to just say like uh, <laughs> I, I want to once again observe uh, four players mm-hmm. Uh, Sancho against Alba mm-hmm. probably expect yeah. brilliance in that match yeah. on that side. That side. 
So you uh, so on the other side we have Sancho uh -huh. up against Kunde. No, I mean I mean Rashford, Rashford against, against Kunde. Kunde. So mm -hmm. when you look at this match, mm -hmm. Barcelona will be exposed. Yeah, it's the noise at Old Trafford uh -huh. and everything. Yeah. I don't know by how much, but I'm I'm expecting a win for United. Yeah, so against Barcelona and United proceed it, to the next stage. Yeah, for me, I think also the midfield is gonna be very important to this game. Yeah. And uh, looking back at the first leg, I think uh, uh, there was that battle between Frankie De Jong and Pedri and, and Gavi yeah. and um, against uh, Fred and Casemiro yeah. and Bruno. So in this one, Barcelona unfortunately are going to miss their two golden boys, yeah. uh, Gavi and Pedri. Yeah. And it could be a little problem for them because these two boys, they understand football. The way they move the ball, the way yeah. they manipulate the ball in the midfield is always key to Barcelona. And that is why they are able to play uh, in front of um, uh, De Jong, and yeah. that is why they are able to play while Kessie mm -hmm. and other players are on the bench. Yeah. So I think that could be key, and uh, this one could give uh, Bruno maybe more um, freedom to freedom move in, the, in the midfield, yeah, the which could uh, which means Man United have a chance in this one. And um, yeah, as you you mentioned, the crowd. I remember after the match against um, uh, Leicester, uh, Ten Hag was seen. Uh, uh, celebrating with the fans and he told them uh, please come so that we uh, we were uh, against Barcelona so that we we celebrate together when again we beat them so and I wondered like why is he saying that and I noticed that he understands how important the crowd is in these kinds of games obviously it is we've seen like uh, crowds at Etihad mm -hmm. doing amazing job. Mm -hmm. You could be there and sit here playing shit, but at the end of the day, yep. they get a point. Yes. Because of the noise. Yes. We saw uh, Arsenal losing 3-1 to Manchester City. Mm -hmm. But the crowd was amazing. Was to amazing. a point, the first comment that Teta made was, mm -hmm. the crowd was the amazing. crowd was amazing. You so, see... Uh, uh, what do you call it? the Liverpool ma manager Jagan Klopp? Mm -hmm. Jagan Klopp will always celebrate in front of the fans. Mm -hmm. They know the importance of a home crowd. crowd. And the confidence they give team they when they're give cheering. The team when yeah. they're cheering. So, so a win for United, uh, but then again, more goals to be scored. Mm -hmm. United are also supposed to make sure they, they, they are supposed to make to ensure mm -hmm. they mark uh, Lewandowski. Lewandowski very well. Lewandowski sometimes Lewandowski becomes Rafinha. sneaky. Mm -hmm. Rafinha is there. Mm -hmm. So I think, but United will win this yeah. match. So I think for me. Uh, We've just talked about the crowd and I think it's going to be the main man for Man United. This game, actually, if you watch the first game, you will realize that these teams are equal in terms of strength. Yeah. Uh, you will see they, they play uh, not kind of similar kind of football, but the way they attack, it's kind of an end-to-end -end kind of game. This game cannot end in nil-nil. It's, it's, yeah, it's going to be having uh, some uh, goals in there. We're going to see Barcelona scoring, Manchester United scoring. And there will be, it's just a game of margins. I think Man United could, I think as much as I think um, Barcelona or uh, these teams could uh, draw and then go to extra time until maybe they go to penalties, I think there is small margins that can help Manchester United win. To edge uh, Barcelona. Yes, just a 2-1 win. And if those margins don't happen, this game could go until extra time and even until penalties. That's what I No away goals in this case? No. If it ends 0-0, zero, zero, yes. extra time yeah. to be decided on penalties, mm -hmm. so any team has to win. Yes. You have to you have win. To win. There is nothing like we have, we have uh, some of United fans. <laughs> Jonah. Jonah was saying they have two goals, away goals. Jonah is a United fan. Uh, Jonah is a United fan. You did tell fan. me that. Man. Jonah is a United fan. <laughs> <laughs> he said they have two away goals. So... I don't understand. When, when your name is Jonah and uh, no, 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 you, you no, no, don't no. know that... Cut that uh, statement. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that statement. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, for most Man United fans out there, I know we are. Uh, most of you are excited about this match. We have so many of you uh, out there. We have... Uh, I, I know Reggie. I know Abba. I know... Most of you all are excited and I think this match is very important. You should be excited because an, a win for Man United means their season is going very, very well after bad start. So Going well, of course, but then back. again you have, uh, you pile more. You know, if, 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 I, I want to tell you this to Man mm -hmm. United fans. Mm -hmm. If United can, can leave the FA Cup, mm -hmm. they exit the FA Cup, they exit the Europa League, mm -hmm. they'll challenge Arsenal for the mm -hmm. title. Mm -hmm. Uh, because at the end of the day, yeah, there's so many fixtures. Yeah, 
the depth. Mm. So United, uh, like they're cooking something yeah, this you're, season you're, you're and right. expect something. Mm. But then again, you also you don't need to let exit a competition because of fixtures. Mm -hmm. You need to keep on pushing. Nobody yeah, knows yeah, what yeah. will Nobody happen. Nobody knows what, what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, so I think Manchester United are still in all the four fixtures, as you've said, and yeah. uh, this can be very much overwhelming for them. So, but then again, who doesn't want to play in more cups? So, should be excited. Should go for that Barcelona match. Let's see them uh, do their thing. Let's see. Let's see the Ten Hag ball. Let's let's see how they are able to play against a Spanish giant. So yeah. yeah. So you can meet again uh, when we analyze the weekend preview in the yes. uh, Premier League and yes. also <coughs> United are not playing the Premier League over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So it is a final. So we're gonna analyze that as well. We're gonna have all of these matches right in our channel. Yeah. So subscribe to our channel. Like. Comment. Yeah, as we've always said, we are an open uh, kind of show and we will invite you for us, for you to be able to discuss football with us very soon. As long as you are our follower over Facebook, over Twitter, wherever, we have all those accounts that are running. So keep engaging with us. We'll call you on our show so that you're able to give us your thoughts about these games that we usually discuss as well. So we've come to the end of this section of the UEFA Europa League. My name is Brian. And they call me Vincent. And... Uh, this, this is a liquid, liquid posture. posture.